Hello, gang. It's my, my. I hope you're having a great day. All right, let's open our Bible. We're going to start again in Matthew chapter 6. We're going to start right where we left off the last time. So grab your Bible, Matthew chapter 6. I want you to follow along this time. This is a really important section. This is called the Lord's Prayer. And if you were a Catholic or a Lutheran, which we aren't, they believe that you have to pray the Lord's Prayer over and over and over again. But that's not what God gave this to us for. He gave it to us as an example of how to pray. Now, the last time we were together, we talked about giving our offerings and praying privately in our closet. And now God's going to give us a pattern of how to pray. So Matthew chapter 6, we're going to start in verse 9. Matthew 6 verse 9, and it says... After this manner, therefore pray ye. So, it's a pattern. After this manner, after this way, follow me. This is how we pray, okay? So let's find out what he wants us to do when we pray. Um, it says, After this manner, therefore pray ye. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now, let me explain a few things. First thing, who is this talking to? Who do we pray to? You know, once again, Catholics and Lutherans and other religions pray to, mm, they pray to Mary sometimes. What? She was just a human being. She was fantastic. She was an amazing person, but she was just a person. Sometimes they pray to idols. Now, we lived in Korea, and we watched them go up and bow down to real idols. And people pray that way. God says, no. We are to pray to our Heavenly Father. So that's why usually you'll hear us start our prayer, Dear Heavenly Father, because that's who He is. He's our Heavenly Father. So that's who we pray to. Then it says, Hallowed be thy name. That means holy. God's name is holy. Remember that. You might be hearing it again. God's name is holy couple things about that. When we write God's name, G-O-D, we always capitalize the G, okay? We do that with people's names, my, my, M-Y. M is always capitalized. Mel, Mel, M is always capitalized. J-J, both J's are capitalized. <laughs> Arthur, we capitalize the A. God's name is always capitalized. So, mm. There might be points off in the future if you don't capitalize God when you're answering a question, okay? So God's name is always capital. He is holy. He is special. The other thing is we never take God's name in vain. Now, a lot of times you will hear people say, oh my God, <gasps> never, ever say that. God's name is holy. It is not just a human's name. It is God's name. And we only use it, use it when we're talking to him or about him. But never just to say, oh my God. Oh, do you know what that does to me? I, my, my, my skin just crawls and I want to scream when I hear people say that. Or even saying OMG. That's what that means. And that is not that is using God's name in vain. He is holy. Holy, he is perfect. So we need to we need to pray to God and remember that he is holy. God is holy. And the first thing we're to do is to praise him for that. So it says, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We're praising him. The next thing is, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We pray for God's will, not for our will. You know, a lot of times we say, oh, I really want this to happen. Oh, please, God, will you let this happen? And yet he has the best for us. So we pray for God's will. The next thing we see is in verse 11. It says, give us this day our daily bread. He wants to hear what we need. He knows what we need. And he'll give us what's best for us. But he wants to hear us asking him, can I have that? Would it be your will if I have that or do that? So we need to pray for our needs. What do we need? Then in verse 12, he says, And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
ooh, if somebody does something bad against us and doesn't doesn't pay, you know, say say you've given them some money and they don't pay us back, we are to forgive them. And this says, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors in the same way that we forgive our debt debtors ooh, in the same way that we forgive other people we need to be careful about that but God wants us to ask for forgiveness too and we need to confess our sins to him then it says lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil that's a great thing to pray Lord help me today to be delivered from evil help me to to not be where there's going to be sin Keep my eyes from seeing things that are bad. Now, you guys are on YouTube a lot. you got to pray and ask God to give you discernment to know what's good and what's bad. Keep my eyes from evil. Keep my ears from hearing things that are evil. Oh, that's really important. And then he says, For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Once again, we end with praise to our God. So this is just an example of how to pray. And that is what we call the Lord's Prayer. I have it memorized. Most people do. It's a good thing to memorize. But it's not something that we have to pray over and over again. When we talk to God in our prayer, it's just like me talking to you. Only we're talking to the most holy God. I want you to remember that. I hope you have a great day. I love you. Bye-bye.